Alright guys, so again, like the Q&A, stop this video, go to the comment section below, scroll down a bit, and check out that Facebook link. Click on it, I want to make a Facebook page so that I'll be able to communicate with you guys better. If you guys have any questions or concerns, you can put it in that Facebook page too, or also in the YouTube comment section. So go to that link, like that page. Thank you very much, Q&A coming right your way. Six Cent coming at you from Six Reviews and today I'm going to answer all the questions that you guys put on the Q&A and yeah this is the back of my phone case it's pretty dope it's the soul of a Jordan 1 I'm pretty sure yeah Jordan 1 look at that my brother got that for me thank you very much I want to do this again just because I love this shirt that much it's an OOTD of this Nongshim Lamian shirt Korean Shin Lamian best Lamian ever it's not like the spicy like the Purudak Lamian which is like super spicy most people can't handle that, but this Shin Lamin one is on point. It is perfect, and when it hits your lips, it's delicious. If you guys really like this shirt, give it a thumbs up. And if you're actually interested in buying a shirt like this, I can design one and make a better one than this. Just let me know in the comment section below. That'd be great. And we're going to go right into the Q&A. And the fact that people even responded and asked a lot of questions, uh, it means a lot, and I think it's really dope. And I would love to do it more often if you guys have questions. So if you guys ever have questions, even if it's not, like part of the comment section you just have a question just put it in the comment section below and maybe at the end of every video I can just do one question and answer period of time I don't know I'm just thinking on top of the dome on top of the head I haven't thought about it much but we'll see and so the first question that comes up is from Ben Smith and by the way if I butcher your names I'm so sorry English is my second language but not really but that will be my excuse for this one okay so Ben Smith asks do you own any Y3s or any designer sneakers I do own a pair of designer sneakers, it's Balenciaga Arenas. I don't own any Y3s. The reason why I don't own any Y3s is because it just seems like I'd rather have a pair of Ultra Boost or just a pair of the Tubular Dooms, which is kind of relatively the same. I might want to invest in it, but not at the retail cost. It's not worth it for me at the retail cost. Isaac Gitau, 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 asks how tall are you? I'm about 5'10", 5'11". And if I put my hair up and wear like Air Maxes, like Air Max 90s, I'm definitely six foot. Matt the Sasquatch asks, asks, and Matt, you like comment a lot, so thank you very much. But as a question, what is a shoe that you love the look of, but you won't rock as it doesn't look right on you or it doesn't fit within your style? Ooh, that's a tough one, Matt, because I think everything fits my style. Oh, I know a shoe that I do like the look of, but I don't think I could ever rock. It is a Yeezy 750s. I don't think I can rock them. I do like the look of them, but I just don't think I can rock it. I don't know. For me, it just doesn't seem like it fits my style. Because I have a longer torso and shorter legs. Those high cuts do make it hard to wear. But I might sound like a hypocrite because the Kobe 9s are a high cut and I love wearing my Kobe 9s. So I don't know. But the Yeezy 750s, that's not the reason why I don't have a pair. It's just because it's not expensive. But that is a shoe that I don't think would look good on me but I like the style of it. So Jeremy Aguirre says I'm 13 I'm trying to build my collection other than the average things YouTubers tell kids to do for money what do you recommend? Again you're 13 man and and this isn't to put you down into how to make money and I'm glad that you want to make money but as a 13 year old there isn't really much you can do other than just find a part-time job. I'll be honest with you hustling on the side and doing all those things is pretty difficult and there's not that many easy ways to make money because if there were easy ways to make money, everybody would be doing it. So just stay in school, work hard at that. Don't do anything illegal because that will just get you nowhere. Work hard, stay in school, and it's much better that way, trust me. Simon, and you always comment, so thank you very much. Simon asks, Simon, Simon, which mall do you think has the best variety of shoes? Ian Center, Yorkdale, Scarborough Town Center. Big fan, bro, keep it up. Thank you very much for being a supporter. Out of all those selections, I think Scarborough Town Center does have the most selection and the most sizes because not as many people go there and it's not as busy of a store as Yorkdale and Eden Center. However, Yorkdale's new location for the Foot Locker, it's not the greatest. Their Foot Locker sometimes has more stock than you would actually think. Every time I've been there, I've seen some things sitting on shelves like, whoa, I can't believe that's sitting up there. So I would say Scarborough Town Center, Yorkdale, and then Eden Center because downtown is always rammed and it's not good. Daniel S. asked, what was your first car? My first car was an Acura Legend, and it was this black Acura Legend. Decked out, leather interior, everything was awesome, but the only problem was is the speedometer didn't work. So I always joked around, if a cop pulled me over, and he said, sir, do you know how fast you're going? I say, I really don't know because my speedometer doesn't work. 
Michael Pulse asks, do you still think Jordans will be popular in 10, 20 years? In 20 years from now, a lot of people that are into sneakers now probably might not be into sneakers while they're older. In 20 years from now, a lot of the younger kids would have no idea who Michael Jordan is because they've never even seen him play or the replays of people playing will not be Michael Jordan, be like LeBron James and Kobe Bryant. However, with that said, I still do think Jordans are gonna remain Jordans until the whole generation dies. And maybe after that, someone will take over. I think Jordans are going to be popular for at least the next 30 to 50 years. At least. Kevin asks, what is your favorite Korean food? This is a kind of a tough question to answer, so I'm going to bust it up into two sets. So my two favorite Korean foods is kalbi, like it's like LA short, like short rib style. Oh my gosh, the marinade barbecue. Amazing. And the next one is kimchi fried rice, just because that's my childhood favorite. I love kimchi fried rice. Cut up some Spam, put an egg on top with some kimchi fried. Boom. Delicious. Brian Wynn asks, Yeezys or AJ1s? I will have to be honest with you. If I had to choose between the two, the Yeezy 350s might take the cake right now just because I do like the design of the Yeezy 350s and I'm into kind of the low cut models. However, if I think about long term, I do choose the AJ1s and I probably just realized I didn't answer your question properly. And with that said, that's the answer I'm gonna give you.